Well, uh, what happened was that I started feeling real bad after initial visit with my primary care physician. And they did some tests and found out that I had cirrhosis of the liver, possibly cancer in the gallbladder, and maybe even in the liver itself in the drainage ducts. My name is Steve Hanish. I am an assistant professor of surgery at the Emory University Hospital and one of the liver transplant surgeons at the Emory Transplant Center. They were telling me that my liver was in bad shape and they didn't know, you know how long it was going to continue to function. Life for a patient diagnosed with cholangiocarcinoma first will be very anxiety provoked. Um, this is an uh, aggressive tumor that does not have a lot of good medical options for cure. They decided to put me on the transplant list. I got on the list, they ran some more tests, and they found out that, yeah, I better get one in a hurry. And um, it came, became available. They called us here at the house on the 25th of August about 11.32 in the morning, and we got down there about uh, 12.20. Cholangiocarcinoma is an aggressive tumor that grows from the bile ducts of the liver. It is relatively rare, with only approximately 5,000 new cases a year. There are not many good options with regard to treatment. Classically, surgery was really the only option, but the vast majority of patients who come to us cannot have surgery because the disease is beyond what is safe to remove. And without treatment, the life expectancy with this disease is less than two years. An exciting new development at the Emory Transplant Center is our ability to offer liver transplantation for cholangiocarcinoma. We offer chemotherapy and radiation followed by liver transplantation for patients with this type of cancer. The belief is that the radiation and the chemotherapy kill the tumor and by removing the entire liver and putting a new liver in, we remove all the risk of having the cancer come back because we remove every bile duct that that patient has and they get a brand new start with a brand new liver and a brand new bile duct. I had no idea they could transplant a liver. I thought I was doomed when they told me that the, the liver was just about shot. This protocol has revolutionized the way we treat this disease and offers these patients who had no hope a chance of long-term survival that cannot be offered with any other intervention. And if I had to advise somebody where to go for an operation or to be checked out, it'd be Emory because they have an answer or a possible answer for everything that I could think of. We're the only center in Georgia that performs this protocol and one of two centers in the southeast. So I think that what sets Emory Transplant Center apart is we have an excellent approach to complicated diseases. We have a multidisciplinary team that is world-renowned and able to treat these complicated problems. And we're able to perform this high-risk operation with excellent results.